today on Misfit Mutt's Garage. I'm going to start the coilover install for my E36 Touring. And to get it started, I got to remove this whole rear end. So let's get going. All right, I got most of it out pretty quick. I've done this before. Um, I replaced the shocks on this once already because they were just so bad. And as you can see, most of it comes out with just a screwdriver and some clips. It's very easy. Uh, I have my headliner out because I'm going to get it refinished. Um, but I've put, I, I suggest putting the screws back after you take them out. Um, it's very easy to lose them. I just need one. I think that's an eight. So we'll take that off, then we'll get this piece off, which is kind of a pain to get this and has to come up here. But like I said, I've done it before, should be able to get it. So let's yeah, set it up right here. See, that's a little better view. Let's get to it. Now, access to the shock right here. Very easy. All right, so from here, I'm gonna jack the car up. I'm gonna take the wheels off. Ooh, that's in the way. Don't squish your plastics. Take a quick little look under here. You can see there's rust and that perch is probably going to eventually need to be replaced. So we're gonna do that at some point, but not today. Today we're just removing this guy, these two, and then this will drop out, which we'll replace with the spring. Then the Bilsteins will come out and we'll put the uh, ST shocks in. Mm. put the tops back and then I do have reinforcement plates that will go on the inside so that will do it Of a height difference definitely not negligible I should have gotten new rubbers but I don't have them so we're just gonna live with it and that's a new spring in numbers out per the uh, FCP Euro tutorial video that I watched Good noise. There we go. Alright, see those. Now let's get back to back to the shock. Got our reinforcement plate in that is fitting nicely we got our spring in now i just need to get my friend out here to my, my wife to come out and help me hold this up and screw those nuts on waiting on her
tops are in and tight. Bottoms are in and tight. Nothing's torqued yet, but that's fine. Old springs, old builds. And uh, all right, let's pop the wheels back on. Let's see how she sits. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's, that is really aggressive. That is gonna chew up these fucking tires, shit. on these guys okay so after a bit of looking I realized the rears do have adjusters They're really nice and uh, so yeah instead of doing body work and <laughs> rolling these fenders I am just gonna pop these guys in uh, probably set them at the same height that the black springs were and that way I know that it's not going to be too, too bouncy. I put the black springs over here. So we'll set them to the same height that these guys were. So pop those springs back out. Put these in. Oh, that's right side up. And... Yeah, so that'll fix my mistake. I'm sure plenty of you were like, hey, dummy, there are adjusters for this kit. And I found them after I was finished, of course. All right, so let's move some cars around. You what I'm doing all right spring came right out again yes I will replace those at another time here we go all right we got the base spring I'm pretty sure this is an H&R spring not 100% so what I did was I set it to pretty much there we go that's not gonna stand up but yeah, pretty much the same height. Might set it just a hair lower. Just a hair. And I'm actually gonna grab the other side. Set this to the exact same height this way. I don't have to wonder. I will still check though. About half the thread off. Okay, that should do it. Alright, I'm gonna pop this guy back in. What's your view? There we go. There we go. Pop this guy back in. Got the, actually, this is just dirty, it's in good shape. In really good shape, just dirty. All right, that's one side done. Fought me a bit. That's better. And I've got my adjustable 
this now, which is fucking gravy. Woot. All right, now we got the adjusters in. We've got a lot more height. No more ridiculousness. I expect this to settle when I just drive away a little bit. So why don't we give that a shot? Well, I did settle a little bit on my drive out of the garage, but not a ton. I will definitely be lowering those perches a little more. But for now, it's actually kind of leveled out. Like the gap is even now. So that's fun. All right, now we are back on the touring and we're doing the front coilovers. Uh, I also have control arms and a new lip, but we'll see what we get to. Lots of parts in here. Yeah. And the cool fancy bushings. The cool fancy bushings. And, and I have a no set of the normal ones because I just got the fucking package. Uh, you know the trick to getting those fancy ones on? Uh, heat. Lemon pledge. Oh yeah, you were telling me that. Yeah, people like take their like hours and hours and hours to like grind that little stub shaft down where they fit. Yeah. Well, you just lemon pledge it and smack with a hammer and they pop on like nothing. I watched one dude who actually bought the um the tool. Yeah. yeah. That like clamps it down, which that was pretty cool. He made, he's one of the FCP Euro guys. He made swapping out the control, uh, the control arms seem pretty easy. Yeah, they do. They're kind of like that. FCP Euro guys always. That's the front. This side took way less time. Uh, we're gonna leave it around this height so that it can settle. Um, so yeah, front rear coils uh, are all done. I have some control arms, some radiator parts. This hose leaks a lot from there. Gonna swap this housing and thermostat. This hose as well. Uh, not sure we'll do the control arms today, but if we do, I'll probably cut that into another video. So we'll see how this guy drives, runs and drives now. Should be just leaps and bounds better. But thanks for watching. I did this, most of it, on my own. I'm so happy. <laughs>